What's good, y'all? How y'all been doing? Um, I haven't posted a video in a while just because I've been working on a lot of stuff lately. I just finished doing a champion commercial for them, and I just finished, you know, doing some other projects. And I'm working on two new music videos right now, so the processing, the planning, and all that stuff has made me now, you know, do a YouTube video. But today is Sunday. And I decided to just bring out my camera and talk to you guys. Something that is very important and something I believe you guys should know. Buying the right camera gear is very, very important. As a content creator, professional, videographer, whatever you want to call yourself, buying the right gear is very, very important. You have to understand why you want to buy this gear, why you need the gear that you're trying to buy, and what the gear is going to do for you. What's the purpose of you buying the gear? It's very... I think we creators were very caught up in buying the latest, buying the brand new stuff, buying the things that we necessarily don't need. So that's why I decided to make this video so that I can let you guys know the reason why it's very important to buy the right gear. The gear that you need, the gear that's going to serve its purpose, the gear that's going to do what you're buying it for it to do, the gear that it's, you know, for you. Not just buying the latest and the greatest. and you know just coming down with problems in the future but buying the gear that you necessarily need for you to create what you're creating now as content creators when we set out to buy camera gear we first go on youtube we look at other people's reviews what they use the camera to do how the camera's quality was and other other stuff which is not bad normally when you're first of all trying to get a camera yes look at reviews look at what other people have used it to create you know then that can factor in your decision on buying your own camera but the first thing that i see that a lot of content creators miss out when purchasing cameras is what is the camera going to do for you and your workflow now there's a lot of factors that play into deciding on what camera to buy for example are you just buying cameras just to create vlogs and just for yourself to like talk to people that camera that you're gonna buy specifically for that is gonna be different from a camera that someone buys just for example like me that do music videos I do commercials it's gonna differ I'm not just gonna buy a camera that does only vlogs I'm gonna buy a camera that I can vlog on I'm gonna buy a camera that I can also shoot professional commercials for these companies that I work for I'm gonna buy a camera that can shoot slow motion when I need to shoot slow motion, I'm gonna buy a camera that works for me and my workflow. I'm gonna factor all this in and that's gonna make me decide on what camera I'm gonna buy. Sorry guys, I live in a very noisy environment, so bikes, everything passed by, but, but yes, so, but yes, so all these things have to factor in before you just decide to go buy a camera. There's a lot of brand new cameras that come out each day, each week, each month. But you have to decide, yes, this camera is nice, the quality is nice, what comes out from this camera is great, but is it going to fit your workflow? Also, another great thing that you should factor into before deciding to buy a camera is also looking at the camera. Is this camera a hybrid camera or not? Now, for those of us that do both video and photo with this camera that we're purchasing, we should look at the specs, look at what it can do on the video side of it, look at what it can do on the photo side of it. Now, is it only great in doing video and not doing photo is great or is it great in just doing photo and not doing video depend on who you are as a content creator if you do both you have to factor into do i want to lose quality on the video side or do i want to lose quality on the photo side or do i want both quality to match equally you have to look at that because some cameras these days only come great on the video side and not come great on the photo side or the opposite so you that so that right there you have to take into accountability and look at camera and look at is it going to be great on both sides so it can help you in deciding on you know if you want to get the camera or not now this point that i'm about to talk about to me is the most important point ever i don't see a lot of people talking about this and this is something that's going to factor greatly into your decision on buying a camera and that point is basically is the camera water sealed now this is very important because if you are a hybrid shooter that shoots in sunny conditions, shooting rainy conditions, shooting in snowy conditions, you have to buy a camera that fits all these brackets. So for example, if you have a client that wants to shoot in the rainy conditions and your camera cannot shoot in the rain, are you going to tell that client that you can't shoot because your camera cannot shoot in the rain? 
that's just you losing an opportunity and that's also you just losing a client just because your camera cannot shoot in the rain so carefully deciding on what camera you need is very 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 beneficial it's gonna save you a lot it's gonna save you a lot of time it's gonna save you on money it's gonna save you the headache of not having the right gear when you need the right gear. So I'm gonna end this video off by saying, for those of you new to creating content, please, please, please do your reviews before you buy a camera. If you have to go out and rent, rent. There's a lot of rental companies out there that you can rent cameras from. Rent all different kind of cameras, test them out, see what works for your workflow. Um, don't just rush to buy a camera. There's a lot of nice cameras out today rent test them out see which one is going to work for your own workflow especially if you're doing professional work for clients you want to make sure you have an all-around camera that can do photos and videos for everything you never know when you would need to shoot a specific content you never know when you need to shoot video you never know when you need to shoot a photo there's always gonna be a time where you will need to do both at the same time so make sure that you have the right gear on you, you have the right camera on you. Make sure that you take your time in deciding before you spend money to go buy a camera. I hope these tips can help you guys out. Um, this has happened to me a lot in the past where I just jumped to go buy a camera just because I see a YouTuber using it and the videos look great and I just go ahead and buy it. Like I've done that in the past and I can tell you today with experience that it does not work. Take your time, look at the cameras that is in the market today and buy a camera that's good for you. Like right now, I didn't even go with the hype of having a Canon camera or having a Sony camera. Even though I like Canon cameras, right now I'm using the Lumix S5. And Lumix cameras are not always talked about. Like Lumix cameras right now are in the least of people's mind. Canon and Sony are always in the hype. Don't follow the hype, don't follow what other people are following or buying. Check them out. I'm happy with Lumix right now. In fact, Lumix is the best system I could have ever bought. And I'm gonna talk about the Lumix camera that I'm using in another video. I'm gonna tell you guys why I love the Lumix S5 and why I think this camera is the best camera to buy as a content creator in 2021. But all that's gonna be in another video in another day. For right now, I just wanted to like let you guys know what I was using and help you guys, you know, talk about buying the right gear and having you guys not, you know, go around thinking or spending money to buy gear after gear after gear after gear. You have to buy gear that you can use all around. You have to buy gear that's gonna fit your workflow. You have to buy gear that is gonna be okay for you. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know what gear you think is an all around gear that you've used for yourself and that works for you. My name is Michael Morshots and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.